Welcome, techies, to part three, the final sequence of the X-Virus Personal Guard series here. Well, at least 5.4 series. So here we are in the infected virtual machine that is highly infected with malware, and we're going to see how well X-Virus will do at cleaning up this infected machine. So right over here in the corner, we have the latest version of X-Virus. We are going to run this as administrator to give it the best chance of running. All right, so we have our installer here, and we are going to perform an initial scan this time because, <laughs> well, I think we know that there's some malware on this PC here. I don't know. Something just tells me. I have this hunch. Anyways, I do really love this interface for installation, though, guys. I mean, I wish other AVs would actually kind of mimic this in a sense and take notes off of this one because Mike V, he, he sure got it down. I mean, dang, I might actually like this guy on Facebook. So, no, yeah, probably not, but... Anyways, let's click the install button before the ransomware decides to encrypt this file. And I actually had a question I saw in the comments in regards to the piece of ransomware that continuously is re-encrypting my PC. I have tried to figure it out myself, uh, which specific sample is doing that. I have not been able to pinpoint it. So I do apologize. I cannot get that sample to you. Believe me, I would love to extract that and test it individually on a virtual machine and kind of analyze it more. But like I stated, I cannot pin it down myself. All right, and the parent file is probably also encrypted, <laughs> to be honest with you. So unfortunately, um, I probably wouldn't be able to get it either. It's probably one of these dead files on here anyways. So, all right, so initial scan is running. I really hope it's actually running this time due to the fact that we had some issues last time with the scan not working. So what I guess I'm going to do here now is I'm going to kind of be patient and see, hopefully, this oh, threat was removed. Well, would you look at that? So I guess it's already going to town here. Now, this is the file guard, guys. This is not the on-demand scanner. The on-demand scanner is what's going right now. That's the on-access scanner that just detected that malware. So that's a good thing to see as well. It actually did remove something because keep in mind in the prevention test, we didn't see any of that whatsoever. It, it was completely silent. And a suspicious file now has been... Uh, detected it looks like and is now asking me what I want to do with it okay so that definitely looks suspicious to me and I'm gonna go ahead and move that to quarantine okay so our initial scan is still operating uh, I'm gonna go to the settings here and we are going to change some of the settings now it looks like maybe our initial scan has completed uh, I'm going to say automatically can quarantine threats as they're detected just because I don't want to constantly be sitting here playing a pop-up game all right, so we do have a pop-up for our network. Well, that's just, we can ignore that. Um, okay, scan priority, we're gonna say highest. And then protection settings, when a threat is found, we're gonna say, uh, just so go ahead and throw and quarantine them. All right, so here we go. We're gonna try it here. And we're gonna do a full system scan, guys. None of this, you know, crap of trying to uh, do quick scans and stuff like that. But keep in mind, we had a problem loading the scanner last time. So I'm going to see maybe it's a Windows 10 thing that doesn't allow it to work. We're trying it in Windows 7 this time. So we will go ahead. I'll let it sit here for, you know, five or so minutes. If it does not work, uh, we'll go in safe mode and try it there. So as the scan has started, I don't want to sit here and let you watch the scan. So I'm going to go ahead, pause the video, and I'll be back once the scan has completed. So see you in a bit, guys. All right, everyone, so it's been a couple days later, but nevertheless, we have finally finished the scan. Now, it didn't take a couple days. As you can see, it took more like 49 minutes and 11 seconds. So to do a full system scan with a virtual machine that's infected as this one, I guess that's not too bad. All right, let's take a look at what we found. We supposedly have 81 threats found. And of course, you all know that there is over 400 pieces of, well, I don't know about 400, somewhere around 400 but for sure there's over 300 pieces of malware on this system. Last I checked, 81 is by far, well, not, not even close to 300. So let's click show threats and see what it found. Now, as you all know, some of the antiviruses out there, anti-malware solutions, when they say 81 threats, they count multiple files within that one threat. So maybe there are 300 and some actually infected files, but of those 300 and some actually infected files, there's only 81 actual types of malware on there. So as you all know, malware sometimes, or most of the time, will infect multiple files, but it's from the same strand. I guess is what I'm trying to say, if that makes any sense. So looking through here, 
Uh, it looks as if everything has been quarantined for the most part automatically, except for a few things right here. Uh, now, as you all know, this is on the desktop here, but that is not working uh, due to the fact that the ransomware has screwed it up. Well, I guess the fact that ransomware screwed up malware isn't really the end of the world now, is it? Anyways, so it, nevertheless, it found quite a bit. And it looks like everything that is not been removed has been checked. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and quarantine the selected here. And hopefully it won't take too long. All right. Oh, uh, hey, hey, there we go. Okay, so. Uh, and we have stuff completely screwing everything up. So first of all, let's start with these alerts and say that the threats have been quarantined. Okay, so that's cool. And then supposedly this is suspicious activity on our system. So we're gonna move that to quarantine. And now it is stating that we need to reboot. Well, no shit, because I figured after all that, we probably do need to reboot. That's a lot of malware removed. All right, so so far X virus on the removal test is looking maybe not as good as it did in the uh, zero day test because the zero day test as you know was completely blown out of the water might explain those results a little bit, a little bit later how they might be fudged but we will wait to see after the system reboots maybe X virus really is that good maybe it's the next generation the sleeping giant of we'll call it of anti malware programs I really hope so I really do so we will find out once the system restarts all right, guys, I'm calling this test X virus. When it comes to removing malware, you got to improve. Seriously, you got to improve. This is an absolute disaster. This virtual machine is going absolutely nuts. It has become pretty much unresponsive here. Um, I think it's become a little bit more responsive now. However, it has just been crazy. So let me see if I can get to Hitman Pro. And I can't even click the address bar, guys. It, it, it is a disaster. So, uh, bottom line with X-Virus here, as you can see, it failed at removing. Uh, probably asking yourself right now, well, why the hell did it fail at removing this malware so bad? I thought you said it did a great job at detection. Well, it was brought to my attention that it's, I find this very interesting too, X-Virus uses the popular, most popular anti or, or, or I should say malware archiving websites. So like the malware domain list is, is kind of an example, but it's in a sense where they store files and where I get my files from, not the URLs. But anyways, they use the archived malware sites for creating their signatures, which explains why it removed all of the malware in that folder because I use a very popular, very high quality malware uh, archiving site to get my samples. And well, as you could see, so does X-Virus, which is why the detection rate is so high. But this is a perfect example of why I utilize a removal test with real world scenario, real infected virtual machines. Uh, that's to basically kind of even out the results and, and make sure that the product does perform as it states. So this is kind of a proof, a, a proof of concept that my tests are very, very accurate in the sense of their diversity and on the kind of malware that these programs are going to encounter and the various various methods of infection that they're gonna have to counteract. Uh, so yeah, that is the reason why it failed miserably on here. So with looking at this video now and looking at the results of this test, would I recommend x -Virus? Well, I would say as a primary, now, now remember this primary and secondary scanners, okay guys, they're, they're two different things here, so we gotta make sure we get this straight. As a primary scanner, absolutely not. I think that this would just be a can of worms and you are gonna, can't help but open them. They're gonna, they're gonna end up opening up. You're gonna drop them on the floor and they're just gonna go everywhere. Like my analogy, yeah, I'm not that good at them. Anyways, so, I would avoid it as a primary scanner. As a secondary scanner, I can't see why it would hurt. Uh, it seems to be the program, the program seems to be very uh, reliable in the sense it didn't cause any real issues that I saw with the virtual machine. It installed quick, really seems solid. You know, and, and it probably isn't the greatest and uh, greatest program coding wise because they're very small, but you know, that's to be expected. You know, that's to be expected. So as a secondary scanner, like I said, can't hurt. 
Uh, and that's what they advertise themselves as. So I give them kudos for that in the sense of they're not advertising as a primary scanner. They're saying, hey, guys, you know, we, we aren't perfect. We aren't even close to perfect. So to get us started, let's, how about you just run us alongside your existing malware, anti-malware solution? And that's really going to help them improve. I think that they're playing their cards right. So don't think I'm trying to bash them at all. Uh, they do have a decent product. I like the interface. Uh, it installed very quick. They really got something good going for them. They just really need to improve and almost maybe collaborate with some other anti-malware engines and see if they can get them involved just because their engine alone is really not going to cut the mustard. Uh, if, if, if that fails, you know, you're going to have to go with some sort of behavioral system. Uh, maybe a sandbox, something you got to set yourself apart uh, from the other anti-power vendors. Oh, so that's going to be it for this review, I think, guys. Uh, it's been a long, long review. It's been like a week, but I've been very busy, so I finally had some time. It's Friday. Let's get it done. Ship it out. Upload it. Hope you guys enjoy it. Remember to like, remember to subscribe, remember to share, especially. Uh, you know, more people, the better on my channel, obviously. So, uh, yeah, that's going to be it. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And I'm going to go ahead and save this uh, virtual machine state as you see it right here. And I think we may have to go and give this number a call. So I think user might be uh, paying a visit tonight uh, or sometime this weekend. And we can go ahead and do a fake tech support video. So stay tuned for that. Or at least stay on my channel or somehow subscribe so you can see my videos at least. All right. That's it. See you guys in the next video.